In the last tutorial we installed our first template and we made sure that our module manager for the position matched um, where that same module was used in our template. So now we're going to take a look at our next template and in order to do that we are going to install some other ones but we're also going to look at a mistake that I made with the old template. If I go over to templates on the side again um, you'll find the template that I had installed already this is the template version 1 and you'll see that it gave me a warning and it's saying that the CSS folder and files are missing and that's something that's kind of interesting you'll see it says edit the main um, page file but I can't edit the style sheet and it's because it can't find it so we're gonna fix that um, and we're also going to fix this this um, other thing here which shows us the small thumbnail of our website as well as a large version of that website so we're gonna look at the next file the next folder I have is called module positions I've got a little bit more here I've got the same templates details file and I've got a little bit more going on first off I have changed the name because it needs to reflect the new folder that I'm installing things in I've given it a new description and I've given it a new version number I have some new files I have my index and template files then I have the template preview and the template thumbnail the template preview and the template thumbnail files are basically the same thing except the thumbnail is small and the preview is larger the next thing that I have is a folder called CSS. If I look over in my um, folder here, you'll see there is the CSS folder. And what's nice about, I think, Joomla 2.5 and above is that you don't have to stipulate all the file names that are inside your folders. Those will move over automatically. You just have to stipulate what the name of the folder is. The next thing that I've added here is something that I didn't have in the very first template, but or my very first template details file, but it's the positions. And these positions, top nav, sidebar, sidebar extra, and footer are the different module positions that I'm going to use in my template. And I don't know if you noticed, but before I didn't have these positions, so that meant that the positions that I'm using, like top nav, um, were not automatically appearing in my module position selector in Joomla. But now that we're installing this new template, they will. Let's take a look at other changes that we've made in here. Um, the, n the other changes that we've made are to the index.php file. Inside this, I have some of the same information that I had before. I have my JDoc include the type head. That's the head information, including um, meta descriptions and JavaScript files and Moo tools and other things like that. I have the top nav module position. I have the component position. That's our main content position. Now I've got some other positions that I'm adding on and I've added some more information. Now this first one all I did was say include the module and name it top nav. In this one I'm saying include a module, name it sidebar and give it the style of XHTML output. Another one right here is a conditional statement. This conditional statement says if the module sidebar exists then output all of the code that's inside here. Now I can actually wrap my custom sidebar with a custom div called class sidebar extra and if that sidebar extra is being used it will output just the raw information of what that sidebar has in it instead of XHTML. We can also count multiple things. We can say if the sidebar and the sidebar extra both exist then write this code div class clear afterwards of course this could be a different module if you wanted so the reason that I'm showing this is that you can do a lot with module positions you can choose to just show the module position you can um, choose to um, show that module position with a different type of style and you'll have to look up those in the Joomla um, documentation for the different styles and what they do. Um, you can say show certain code if a module position exists and don't show it if it doesn't. And you can also do 
if multiple module positions exist. Here's another one where, of course, I'm including the footer module as well. So let's take a look at how we um, also move over this template. Now I've got a folder with all the files in it, and instead of creating a zip file, I'm just going to move this file over to my Joomla installation and I should be copying it over. Yeah, I did copy it over. So now I have everything there and now I'm going to go back to my Joomla installation, go to the extension manager and look for Discover. Once you're to Discover, you click on Discover and it should find the template. Now I had to change my name to Module Positions 2 because of the fact that I had already discovered the module positions before and so it wouldn't let me discover it again. Anyway, once that is discovered, you can go ahead and click on Install. You need to select it, then click on Install on the left hand side and it will install that particular template. Now the reason it does have to install it, it can't just discover it and you're done, is, is because it actually has to create associations um, within the database for that particular template. In fact, if I go to templates in here somewhere, template styles, you'll see that it is now installed that into my database. So that's why it has to go through the install process. Whether you go through the extension manager and you upload a zip file or you install by discovering it doesn't really matter. It just has to go in the database somehow. Anyway, now I can go back to my template manager. I can choose that particular template and make it the default. And I can also um, go ahead and take a look at more details about that template. Now in my template manager here, I can see a thumbnail of that particular template. I can click on the thumbnail. I can um, click on the template to get more information and you'll see I can now edit the main template file as well as the style sheets and I'm not getting any errors like I got with the previous template. If I wanted to edit the um, template file it would have an editor right here in Joomla which is kinda nice and you can see the comments that I made in the modules um, and of course I could do the same thing with the CSS file. Now the next thing that we want to do is take a look at um, how the output is happening with this. Unfortunately, I have a error in my code, which I probably will need to fix here at some point. Um, I did not check to make sure that my template was without errors. And it looks like I do have a little error here, and I'll fix that here in a second. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the other things, though, first. In my module manager, um, I have a lot of different um, modules, and we want to make sure that these modules are placed um, in the new module positions of my website. So the first thing that we have, um, let's see, our main menu is going to go to the top nav of our current website, and if I try and find this particular template, here we go, you'll see it right there. It says Joomla Template 2 Version 2 and there's the top nav section and I can choose that and indeed is the same thing as before. Now I'm going to close that and let's see what else we have. Here's the login form. I want to make sure that that's in the sidebar. So I'm going to load this into the sidebar section. I can find that here. And then I can also put my let's see side module into my sidebar. And what's nice is you can actually just start to type and it will know. Oh wow, that's kind of interesting. At least I thought it would. Oh, I was giving it tit title. Sidebar. Aha, here we go. Sidebar, there we go. It actually is just truncating it so it shows me that it's going to go in the sidebar extra of that particular site. I can save that. And let's see if we can get this thing working again. Okay, so I fixed my little error. My little error is that I had a semicolon instead of a colon um, on that 
double condition. So that's just something that I had to fix in order for my page to show correctly. Now what we need to do is make sure that we get all the different outputs in here. First our modules go in top nav, our um, sidebar and the sidebar extra need to show and so let's just take a look and see if we're getting those. Here's the login form and the logins so let's see if those indeed have all the different code that we want. Wow lots of stuff. Um, you'll see here's the conditional will only output if exist on page. There's a sidebar extra and I'm getting the output and here's my conditional and I'm getting the div class equals clear that appears um, only if the sidebar and the sidebar extra are both on the page and of course we didn't do our footer yet so um, I could go to my extension manager or module manager I'm sorry see if there's a footer there is indeed a footer maybe that is showing it says that it's using footer so Ah, I named it with an uppercase F. Got to be careful about stuff like that. Now, there should be something appearing in the footer. Let's see what that footer is. It says the position is footer and pages. Oh, it's not showing on any pages. Well, that'd be a good reason it's not showing. I would need to make it so it shows on all pages. So there you go. Now I'm getting the footer output. And this is one of the things that's important to notice about um, Joomla. You have to check more than one place about things um, not working. You just can't assume that your template's wrong. You have to make sure that your template is got the divisions, that your template has the module position in it, um, and for some reason it once again it was giving me there's the name footer I don't know why it was showing an uppercase anywho um, you have to make sure that you have it in your template and you have to make sure that you have it in your module manager and that it's actually showing because mine was showing on no pages which makes a good reason good argument for why we couldn't see it anyway that's a good introduction to modules positions and conditional tags within um, module positions in Joomla. Once again, the code that we just were looking at here were the different types of modules we can have and um, whether or not to show these modules based upon if they exist or not in Joomla. And uh, let's go on to the next tutorial.